采访的一位啊，又是我们的老朋友 Mark s c o u s o n 博士。那么我们是才参加了 Mark s c o u s o n 博士在拉斯维加斯举办的 Freedom Fest 峰会，又在 Money Show 的活动上碰到了他。这一次呢，他是给我们带来了五只最具价值的高股利股，我们一起来看一下。Hi, Dr. Skelson. Good、Hi. to have you with us again. Glad to be with you. I want to congratulations on your big, fantastic show, Freedom Fest.、Yeah. Even Donald Trump showed up. That's right. Yes.、Yeah, so you do?、Uh, are do you agree with him? Oh no, no, no. But but we think it's important to have a, a variety of expression and.、Uh-huh. He's definitely a、uh, a person that a lot of people are interested in.、Uh, his views are very controversial. I don't agree with him on his views on immigration and on Mexico and China.、Uh, I think he was way too critical of.、Uh, you know, he's he's kind of the anti-foreigner, America first kind of、uh, views, which I don't share. But I thought it was important to have him there, and we got major media coverage. Uh, we had standing room only in his room and stuff, and I arranged to have a Roberto Salinas,、mm-hmm. who was a Mexican citizen,、uh, ask the first question. So he was the one who, who said, "Mr. Trump,、uh, you need to read this, the words on the Statue of Liberty." So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh right.、Yeah. Then how about、uh, Donald's、uh, financial stance? Because seems like he's also good at、uh, picking stocks. Yeah, I saw in his、okay. disclosure that he had、uh, done very well in the stock market.、Mm-hmm. Now he basically just matched the performance of the market since 2011.、Okay. Uh, I looked at it pretty closely, and he was up like 40 percent or something.、Okay. And the stock market is up by an equal amount.、Okay. But I give him credit. I think he should. He deserves credit for. Uh, picking stocks, a lot of a lot of us underperformed the market、uh, during that time period. So, so I I think it、uh, that was a new side to, to Donald Trump that I had not seen before. Okay, so his、uh, biggest gainers,、uh, Bank of America, Boeing, and Facebook. How do you like those stocks? Yeah, Facebook is a very good call, and of course is doing very well right now.、Uh, so yes,、uh, Facebook is a very good investment.、Uh, Uh, Bank of America has had its struggles. I mean, it's not one of my favorite banks、uh, because they have such a huge amount of debt,、right. and they would have gone bankrupt if the government had to bail them out. I prefer a smaller regional bank like BB and T. BB and T is the largest bank in the South, and that's one of my recommended stocks right now. Right. So since you mentioned the debt, actually the U.S. government's debt just went up from、uh, I think、uh, 800 millions to 4 trillion. Are、oh, you talking about the Federal Reserve's、uh, balance sheet to 4 trillion? Yeah. Think about that. Well, no, they that was a necessary step that the Fed needed to take to to、uh, bail out the、uh, mortgage business and to get get the economy going again. Uh, it is on their balance sheet,、uh, but it has not caused inflation because they basically、uh, sterilized this,、uh, these deposits, and uh, uh, in, the money supply has been increasing modestly from four to six percent. So,、uh, so far, it hasn't created a problem. Okay,、uh, so you said when Fed、uh, raises interest rates and create an inverted yield curve. Yeah. Watch out. Why? Well, every time the Federal Reserve has imposed a tight money policy by raising short-term interest rates, like the T-bill rate, higher than the long-term rate. So, if the long-term rate is three percent,、uh-huh. and the Fed raises short-term interest rates to four or five percent, then it tends to cause a credit crunch, and a, a recession, and a stock a bear market in stocks. Uh, that's not the situation right now. Right now, we have a positive yield curve, and until the consumer price inflation, the CPI goes up, I don't think the Fed is going to raise rates by any、uh, by any substantial amount. So I still think it's a, a good time to be investing in the stock market. I think the golden age of income investing and dividend-paying stocks are a good way to go. Okay,、um, then then let's talk about your top picks,、uh, the high dividend stocks. So you mentioned that Main Street Capital. Right, Main Street Capital, M A I N, is the symbol on the New York Stock Exchange. This is the best of the business development companies. It finances small private companies, and it pays a monthly yield, monthly dividend that's rising, and they pay two special dividends. 
every year. So you get about 8% return. Okay. It, the stock is up, uh, I think, 12% so far this year. Mm -hmm. Main Street Capital is a great investment for your, uh, for your listeners or your viewers. Then what about this one, EFT? Uh, EFT is the Eaton Vans Floating Rate Income Trust. Uh -huh. This is a great way to profit from rising interest rates when they do raise short-term rates. Mm -hmm. Then the dividend will go up, capital gains will increase. It's a great way to go. I don't have it in my portfolio right now, but as soon as the Fed raises rates, I'll, I'll move into EFT. Okay, I also got this one. Omega Healthcare uh, Investors, that's uh, OHI. Right. right, OHI Omega Healthcare is a great way to, in, to profit from the aging population of America mm -hmm. because they're the largest owners and managers of assisted living housing. So uh, nursing homes and that sort of thing. And as people get older, they're going to use these nursing homes more and more. And so this is a way to profit from it. They've had a, a dividend that is, is around 5 to 6 percent, mm -hmm. and it's been increasing. They've increased their dividend 10 quarters in a row, so it's a great, great investment. I highly recommend it. Okay. And uh, HOH? HQH. HQH. Yeah, yeah, Tekla Healthcare Investor. Yeah, Tekla, not Tesla, uh -huh. which is the uh, car, um, uh, the electric car. We're talking about Tekla Healthcare Investors, which is a closed-end investment company, HQH is a symbol, that invests in biotech like Amgen and Pfizer and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, the stock, uh, the fund has really done well. It's selling for a reasonable premium. Uh, and it pays a stock dividend of 8% a year, so uh, I like this a lot. The stock has done really well, and mm -hmm. uh, biotech is a very hot sector right now. So uh, this, this company will, will continue to do really well, I think. Okay, then the last one, EPD. Yes, Enterprise Products Partners is the largest pipeline company in America. Mm -hmm. The stock is down about 25%, uh, EPD. Uh, and uh, but pays a rising dividend. The yield is over five percent. There's mm -hmm. been some insider buying lately. So uh, once the energy sector turns around and those prices head back up, EPD be, be a great investment. Okay, and then I want to talk about the Chinese stock market. Ah yes, China has had a crash. Yeah, well, actually, it started to getting stabilizing yeah. after the government started uh, interfere. Mm -hmm. But you don't think this is a good idea, right? Well, it's I'm, I'm always opposed to the the government intervening in the stock market. Uh, it's a, always a dangerous game. It sometimes backfires. It's working temporarily right now, but look, if the overwhelming forces are saying that uh, um, the Chinese people have become irrationally exuberant, mm -hmm. to use Alan Greenspan's term uh, regarding the stock market, opening up millions of accounts, a lot of uh, innocent, naive investors getting involved in the stock market, this is always a danger sign of the stock, stock market. Mm -hmm. So. While the, the government can intervene and keep it from crashing, right. it may still be a slow motion bear market. Okay. And you've got to be really careful about that. I mean, I think there's some fundamentally sound Chinese bank, uh, stocks and so forth mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, that, that will be good. But I think you have to be very careful and very selective right now. Okay, because uh, uh, well, earlier there was a speaker who compared the Chinese stock market to Nasdaq back in 2000. Yeah, and, it's yes. fe and it fell in half. Right. And so uh, uh, that could happen to China too. But you have to look for the fundamental companies like Alibaba, I think, is a really good company, fundamentally sound. But yes. the stock could go lower before it bottoms out and moves higher. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank okay. you for joining us. All right, Maggie. Thank you. Bye-bye.